What's poppin' Rob Television? Welcome back to another reaction with your boy. As you can see by the title, man, I'm back with another Magic Johnson reaction video. Now, we all know how good Magic, we ain't gonna say good, we all know how great Magic was. We already know that. We've covered videos on his passing. I don't think I ever did a video on his scoring, but just his highlights in general, we've covered videos on that and we know how great he was. But it never beats hearing current NBA players and NBA legends you know, just bragging about how great a player was. So basically that's what this video is, current NBA players and legends saying how great Magic really was. But you know what we do over here, man. I ain't gonna talk y'all to death, but before we get into the reaction video, do me a big, big, big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, click that post notification bell to be notified on all things Rob Television. Let's check hey, it man, out. It's your boy YG, aka Ngala, and Irvin Johnson, also known as Magic. He's so good that y'all probably thought Magic was his first name. But no, it's actually hey, his nickname. And he actually got it by destroying competition back in high school. And when you talk about NBA players who changed the game, Magic Johnson's on that list. And he's actually top three, if I'm being honest with you. Like, guys, when he came into the league, nobody never seen a player like Magic Johnson. He's the only rookie ever to win finals MVP. No player has done it in their first season. And that's what's crazy. And Magic was just doing unbelievable things. Like in game six of that final series, he played the center position position when Kareem was out for that game and he dropped 42 points. It was clear that Magic Johnson was a generation ahead of everybody. To me, I feel like he's the first point guy because he impacted the game every time he stepped on the floor. He's an elite playmaker and he got eyes on the back of his head. I mean, literally, he can see plays before it even happens. And I didn't even mention that he's a 6'9 guard. He's the main reason why we have 6'8 point guards or point forwards in today's league. Or he at least set the path because it's Hey, just, I, I ain't gonna keep pausing the video, but just, you know, a reminder for the youngsters, even though, you know, I'm a youngster reacting to the video, but just for the youngsters that's out here that's watching this video, Magic is the reason why, I'm gonna pull off a soldier boy, Magic is the reason why y'all creating 6'9 point guards and 6'10 point guards and calling them point guys. Magic is the reason why, for that reason right there. You know, understand that and get that man his flowers. Because it's very rare to see a 6'9 point guard like Magic, especially in the 80s. So we're going to listen to NBA legends and players talk about how scary good a prime Magic Johnson was. But before we get straight into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the culture so you won't be missing any of my videos. And let's get to the vid, man. Dude, I didn't get over there. And if he's... Kevin McHale. Terrible film. Terrible <laughs> video. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know how it, how it happened, but they got it on film. <laughs> Five seconds to go. Magic with a hook shot. Scores with two. And that was one of those ones, like you say, Charles, you think what you want, one thing yeah, back. Yeah. I should have just gone up there, stuck my left foot up real high, and just forced him down the baseline on the right side. But, you know, that, that, that play still bothers me. I, I look at that play. Every time I see it, you know, I, I get disgusted. But Uh-oh. You should have called me. I would have got you some icy hot. So <laughs> 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 all of us coming up, I used to come up there and play at, um, uh, at Michigan State when Magic was real young. Magic yeah. was probably 14 years old when I met him. And, yeah. you know, and he played with us, you know. So he was playing with pros, you know, at 14. And... And you knew. Oh, man. He was special then. Well, he's probably smart enough to get you the ball in the spot. Well, I mean, he's... I literally like got nothing to do with the video, but man, check out Magic Fro, man. That thing is insane, man. Like, dang, his fro was killing all. It was bigger than Dr. J's. I mean, he's smart enough to get a whole lot of people the ball. Right. You know, I mean, that would made him Magic. Um, he understood how to win. He was all about winning. Um, he made people around him better. He made people around him better at 14. So right. his potential was scary. And I think he reached his full potential and uh, having a super career he had, uh, you know, as the NBA player. I've read a lot. And papers say, you're the next Bex. You're the, the chosen one, the, the next Michael, the next Magic. And, and, and you know, uh, you know what it, is it hard not to believe the hype at times? Or how does that, how does that strike you when they say that sort of thing? Well, it, it strikes me with a lot of passion. And it makes me work even harder to get to the level that Magic, Michael, Bird, Julius, and now that Kobe and Tracy is in the league now. You know, everyone when they was in when they was younger wanted to fly like Jordan, wanted to dish no look passes like Magic. 
wanted to jump out of the gym like Judas, and wanted to shoot like Bird. You know, it's great to be compared to some of the greats. And when I look at that, I say I want to be like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, not on the court, but off the court. Your idol growing up was Magic Johnson, a you know, guy you admired greatly. And then, of course, you know, he gets to know Magic, he's the owner of the team. Magic said, and Shaquille O'Neal, with whom you've had an up and down relationship, said that you are the greatest Laker of all time. Do you agree with that? And what does that mean to you? Well, I'll never disagree with my elders. No, I grew up watching Magic. R.I.P. to go. I've had, you know, I've, I've learned so much from him. I can't sit there and be like, you know, I'm the greatest Laker ever. To me, he is because. So you guys know you're the greatest. Without Laker. him, you're no, the greatest. Listen, Laker. I, I got to keep it real with you. Like I, I, I've stole so much from him. Uh huh. That my game wouldn't be complete without him. So scoring titles, he never wins championships. That was my chance to get in the category of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Five, if you want the five. Yes, I do, of course. This is, so I'm going Magic at the one, Jordan at the two, Bird, J, Dr. J at three and four. I just love seeing Bird get his flowers too. Like, I know there's a video about Magic, but I just love seeing Bird. Like, it's, it's exciting me to see Bird getting his flowers, man. I love it. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the five. That's a nice line though. For the 80s. Mm. Freddie, how does Can that I sound? How does that sound quickly? to you? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Given that you, but you, I'm getting, I just want to say, given but that I was you, better than Magic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, given, I, did, I know that Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas. I, I don't think on this panel that anybody's going to have anybody else to to really discuss when we're no. talking about the best of that decade. But for you, Isaiah, who are guys just quick off the top of your head that you compete against at the point guard that you felt you guys were so great that just didn't get their just due i would say in in the 80s for for a short period of time i Low thought peaks. i thought mark price mm -hmm. had a run in this league for about two years or so that was just about as good as anybody um you d definitely mo cheeks uh, Gus Williams. I have one for Ti you. Tiny Archibald was still, DJ? you know, at his, at Dennis. his, you know, Dennis. Gen Dennis? Yeah, but, yeah. but, but saying all that, saying there, all that, there, there was two. It, it, none of them were like Magic. Right. Not, none of us. Or you. None of us were like Magic. And and the reason why I say that is because, it, the the 80s, I thought we came in and we had original style. You know, we brought a originality to the game. Magic came in, and it was like something we had never seen. That's right. I thought when I came in, the way I was playing the point guard and the way I was dribbling, and move, it was it was a different style that the game had had hadn't seen before. Say, I would think in the in this game today, the way it's coached and the way the centers are at six eight six nine, Magic Johnson now would revolutionize the center position and be something totally different that we've never seen before other than the point guard position that he revolutionized. So at the point guard position, he, he was the standard. And I think in this era, he would be the standard at the center position, not the point guard position. Point center. He'd be if he'd well still center. be point center, I think with his <laughs> mindset, whatever position, he's going to have the ball in his hand. I, w I would think he he's would He's going to have the ball in his so hand. So you're but saying he would come up to the high post and make moves and pass from the center position or go to the low post who moves in and makes passes to them that we had never seen before. Yeah, that's what, that's what I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he would be coming down, playing high screen and roll, stepping behind, shooting the three, you know, shaking you, you know, and I, he wouldn't be doing all that. Now, what he would be doing as a center is when he's catching it, you saying, oh, <laughs> what, are we, what are we gonna do now when he has it? Because now he can get to the basket. You know, what I mean, it's it's totally different uh, than him coming down the floor. You know, right, right. You know, looking at that D Rose and everything. So that's what I mean. Like the way offenses are played right now, he would be a totally different player in this area. Right, what's the, the the determining factor when you say this is the guy? See, well, for me, it's the fact of what you guys just brought up. Who wants to play with other people? sat in the captain's chair and played center in every position in the game in the championship, there's no way I'm going against Magic. I have help defenders that can probably help. You know, you 
look at all these guys are great, but you look at the first few years of all these guys, they all had great Hall of Famers, and maybe Mike didn't have that in the beginning, but to me, the one thing is magic, being the leader that he is. One thing that is, maybe it is a whole question, but magic to me in the history of the game is one of the best leaders from what you've seen in this. Gets people energized, getting the crowd energized, the style of play. You ever notice when they scored how fast Magic Johnson got the ball up to half court? You know, those are showtime things, but you're setting up the play with 20 seconds on the clock, and just um, him getting everybody involved, knowing what buttons to push, and I don't know if anybody had his intent. Magic was just mind-boggling the way he'd get the ball off the board and dribble it up and make the play, and it seemed like he had his hand in everything. So guys, what is your favorite moment from Magic Johnson? And where would you rank him on the all-time list? So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and show love to the YG gang. And I'm out. Magic was um Magic was different, man. Magic was. Like and it's just seeing them break it down made it, you know made it a lot more different just seeing that you know like the positions that he played like it was crazy like a point guard playing you know center in the finals like that was just something that's just unheard like at that time was really just unheard of you know what i'm saying like so that's just like he was he was he was a quote-unquote point guard like i said for all the youngsters he is the re he the reason why y'all creating them seven foot point guards six eight six nine point guards you know what i mean even you know me when i had my 2k i created a six six point guard so you know magic was the originator of that but that is it for this video man if you did enjoy this video man do me a big 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 favor man smash that thumbs up button also if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and when you subscribe click that post notification bell to be notified on all things rob television i'm out this name, gang